Here's Dr. James Dobson with Family Talk. Children are extremely sensitive to issues of fairness at home, especially as they relate to their siblings. But is it really a worthwhile goal to give your boys and girls identical experiences in the name of fairness? Family psychologist and author Dr. Kevin Lehman tells of a time a mother questioned him about setting up different bedtimes and allowances. Won't the younger boy feel that it's just not fair? They're only two years apart. Lehman responded, why don't you wait until the boys are 14 and 16? The 16-year-old will have a driver's license. You can suggest that your 14-year-old beat his fist on the counter at the motor vehicle department and demand one too. The mother considered this response silly, and it is. Life is not fair. We can't all be treated the same everywhere and every time. In the real world, our sons and daughters will run headlong into all kinds of inequities. Since we as parents are in the business of preparing our children to face the future, we need to begin early. Establishing reasonable but different treatment for each child based on age, ability, and personality starts the process. Yes, the younger children may wail about life being unfair, but that's part of the training process. Anything parents can do to prepare their children for the real world will pay off in the future and often in the present as well. Dr. James Dobson with Family Talk.